When I was a dental student at Harvard, I learned how to give an injection by injecting classmates. And my classmates learned by injecting me. It was very anxiety provoking. I first became interested in using virtual reality at the dental school when I became the course director for the second year Introduction to Oral Surgery Pain and Anxiety Control course. I wanted to help students find a better way to learn how to give local anesthesia. So much like pilots or astronauts or other people who are highly trained in certain skills have to perform a certain number of exercises in a simulated environment, we wanted to create something very similar for dentistry. It allows students to not only practice with faculty feedback, listening to my direction and getting instruction, but also for them to be assessed so they feel comfortable in the skills that they've gained. The next phase of development is to continue to include the ability for students to receive haptic feedback in the hand controllers. Right now, a lot of the feedback that students receive when they're working through the simulation is auditory, and there are small vibrations that are transmitted through the hand controllers. We're looking to give students a more realistic experience when they use the virtual reality, so that when they inject, they feel what it's like to penetrate through different levels of tissue and hit bone. One of my hopes and dreams is to make a virtual reality simulation part of every dental student's education, because I see firsthand the value of giving students the opportunity to practice, to be in a safe environment, to receive feedback, and then to go back to the simulation model before their patient encounters to make them better clinicians.